Hello everybody, my name is Jona and this is Cabochiro Draws. And in today's video I will be doing the Reading Rush Challenge. So the Reading Rush originated as the Booktubeathon YouTube Sprint Challenge where everybody on YouTube who does bookish related videos would follow the same seven challenges created by Ariel and Raylene. I'll link the official channel down below and read seven books in seven days, each book having a certain like theme or challenge connected to it. So I collected all of the graphic novels I have from my bookshelf and I'll see what fits which theme and decide what I'm going to read this week. I will vlog the process, I will be creating art inspired by these books and I'll also be doing the YouTube challenges that the book tag has. Since this is an art, challenge, art YouTube channel, I'm only doing graphic novels, so I'm going to see that I have books that inspire me, that I think will help me if I want to create my own comics that I find interesting in that way. Let's get to the seven challenges. The first being read a book which has a cover that matches the color of your birthstone. And according to the website, my birthstone is June, the Alexandrite, which is like a pinkish purple. So I'm going to pick Milkman x Mailman by Damere, who is an Austrian artist and illustrator. I no Damere, we see each other at like conventions and things. My boyfriend bought her comic a while ago, I haven't read it yet. So this is going to be the first book I read. It's also really short, which is good for like a reading challenge. Challenge number two is read a book that's out of the word the. And this is actually really hard because all I only have one graphic novel that starts with the, and that is The Sculptor by Scott McCloud. This is signed, he came to a, um, a literature festival in Vienna a few years ago and I've read this before, I did not like it so I might have to give it a second chance or I'm going to read The Language of Foreigns by Lee Bardugo who is a very well-known young adult author, author of the Grishaverse series, the trilogy of Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom, all really good books and this is a short story collection that is illustrated and it's like sequential art each um, page the art continues and gets bigger and bigger till at the end the entire page is covered in art which I find really pretty and interesting. Challenge number three is to read a book that inspired a movie that you've already seen and the only graphic novel turned movie I know is Persepolis. We watched this in high school but I haven't read it yet. It's by Mayana Satrapi. I probably butchered that name. I'm really sorry but this is what I'm gonna be reading for that. Challenge number four is read the first book you touch. And when I collected all of these books, what was the first one? I started with the red books. My bookshelf is a rainbow, so each like row has a different color. But I think the first one I touched is The Steel Prince, which is part of the Shades of Magic graphic novel series by V.E. Schwab, who also wrote the Shades of Magic novels, the This Savage Song duology, the Vicious series, and Vengeful, like the Villains probably trilogy. I think there's a third book coming. And this is really pretty, it's illustrated by a bunch of different artists and the style is really really nice. Plus it's also really short so I can tick that off easily. Challenge number five is read a book completely outside of your house. And for that I'm either gonna pick one of the short ones, Make Manics Mailman or The Steel Prince which I just mentioned. But if I really want to read seven different books I'm going to read Mouse by Art Spiegelman because this is a graphic novel classic. It's such a standard in the graphic novel seen you should have read it I haven't yet so I'm gonna like fix that now or I'm gonna read On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden which I'm not gonna show up I'm gonna like show something on the screen instead because it's underneath all the other books I just stacked on top of it. Tilly Walden is an incredibly prolific graphic novelist she is only a few years older than I am I believe she was born in 1996 and she's created these beautiful stories she wrote Spinning, On a Sunbeam, Last Days of Summer I think another book is called and a new one which I forgot the title of but it's a Texan magical road trip type story which I'm really excited for. And I haven't read On a Sunbeam yet, you can read it for free online. There's like a full webcomic and then she turned it into a graphic novel as well. So I believe I'm gonna read that. Challenge number six is read a book in a genre that you've always wanted to read more of. And I think for that I'm going to pick Palestine by Joe Sacco. He spent 1991 and 1992 in Palestine and it's 
It combines eyewitness reporting with comic book storytelling. And it's something I have never read before and I find really interesting. He also came to the same literature festival I met Tilly Walden and Joe Sacco at. A lot of big names in the graphic novel scene were there. Craig Thompson, who wrote Blankets and Habibi, which I'm iffy about. Oli Lust, who is an Austrian graphic novelist, who wrote a bunch of graphic novels that are also widely acclaimed in the English-speaking graphic novel scene. So this is what I'm going to read for this, and I'm really excited for it. And then the final challenge is to read a book that takes place on a different continent than where you live. All of these, I'm from Austria in Europe, and none of these are set in Europe. They're from the States, or Palestine, or outer space, or fictional planets. So I can mix and match, and whichever one I don't read for the outside challenge, I can read here. Or I can just combine them and read fewer books if I run out of time at the end of the challenge. I think it's time to start the vlog, to start reading, tell you what I think, give you some reviews, show you some close-up of the art, and I'll see you there. One of the booktuber phone challenges was to match your outfit to a book cover. So I decided to do matching makeup and then I'll show you my full outfit as well. Okay, a few updates checking in. I'm halfway through the reading rush. It is Wednesday. So far I have read uh, Milkman X Mailman, which is by Damere Draws. Quick Thoughts was fine. It's very pretty. The skies are beautiful. It's like the cover is really, really nice. I actually think the cover is the best art of the entire thing, and especially of the foil at the top. It's really well done. There is no dialogue. The story is short and simple. And overall, yeah, it was enjoyable. It wasn't anything amazing. Then I finished Tilly Walden's On a Sunbeam, which is beautiful the art is insane it just looks so beautiful the story is i mean if i say lesbians in space does it make you want to buy it because if yes then just go for it that's all you need to know it's a wonderful ombre similar to spinning it has a wonderful like growing up aging thoughts and experiences and now i'm gonna just do some drawing from inspired by that because they have these amazing like whale ships that they use to travel through space and I really want to draw one of those inspired by the color palette of the book. So let's do that on the couch. So here I am on my iPad and as you can see this is the reference image I took from the graphic novel. It's Since it's a webcomic as well you can read it for free on onasunbeam.com. I think that's the URL I put in the description. And here's just a screenshot I took from there with all of these amazing whales in the background. So I'm drawing one of those as well in a slightly different color palette, but like with very similar like cool tone, like corally colors, purples and blues. And I've started it, I'm still going to detail and add like windows to the thing and then of course color it. And I'm sure you can see it in the Procreate time lapse now. It is Thursday and I'm finally back on track since yesterday I only read two books and it was already Wednesday. But yesterday night I still read The Sculptor and because the challenge was read a book of the duh, I still don't like it. I still thought it was very meh and blah. So I'm not going to do any art inspired by it because the art style is very basic and it's New York and I just didn't feel that inspired. But I also read Shades of Magic. 
because I also matched it to my nails, so because one of the challenges was to match it to your outfit with my nails, and yesterday I matched Tilly Wands on a sunbeam, the dark black and blue and like sheer spacey look to my outfit, I'll insert a clip here as well. And I enjoyed this so much more, I thought the art was prettier, I thought the story was more interesting, and you do really need to have read the trilogy though, so I'm not gonna go into spoilers into what happens, but it's a nice little addition, and I'm gonna draw something for this. As you probably saw in that video, a bit of a change of plans because the books I had picked up for the last three books I needed to read so Persepolis, Mouse, and I can't even remember what the third one was Oh, yeah, Palestine. They were all very heavy, very, very dense, and I just couldn't manage to read seven books like that in a week. So I picked three other books that I've read in the past three days. It is Sunday, it is the final day of the reading rush. And I really, really enjoyed these three, so I'm just gonna show you them one by one. The one you just saw in the time lapse was When I Arrived at the Castle by Emily Carroll, who was also at the same literature festival a while ago. It's a beautifully short and haunting story. Emily Carroll does like gothic horror, and it's nice, it's simple, and the compositions are like very non traditional. There's a lot of spreads, a lot of new techniques that I really enjoyed. Then I read. Check Please, book one, hashtag hockey, by Ngozi Ukazu. I also probably butchered that name, I'm sorry. This also is a webcomic originally, and it's in a webcomic format, so it's all like 16 by nine panels, and it's like easy to read and fun. And it's this queer coming of age story, this hockey player coming to university, to college, to play college hockey baking pies, and it's just very, very sweet, but also very heartfelt. And then the final book, which I used for the challenge, something that inspired a movie, was Igor's Berichte aus Japan, Eine Reise ins Reich des Zeichen, which is originally French, I believe, and it was translated into German, which is the edition I have here. And it's a mixed media graphic novel, so there's illustrations, but there's also photographs, and it's all in a different style. And it's about Igor, a mangaka, traveling to Japan as one of the f first foreign people like creating mangas there. And what I really like about this and why it fits the book to movie thing is that it shows behind the scenes how he meets Hayao Miyazaki and how they talk about the Ghibli movie. So it's kind of, it fits into that and it's a graphic novel. And the art is also really, really pretty and I really enjoy it the way it's done and I think it's really interesting. There's actually a sequel to it and I need to get that as well. So yeah, I'm probably gonna also draw something from here because there's some beautiful old like Japanese advertisements and wartime posters, which I find have really interesting aesthetics. So I wanna dabble in that as well. But that's really all there is for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you check any of these graphic novels out, let me know which ones you enjoy, what your thoughts are. If you have any recommendations of graphic novels I haven't mentioned in this video, things that you really, really enjoyed, I'd love to see that as well. Next week's video will most likely be a studio vlog, so you'll get to see more behind the scenes process of me actually creating prints and stickers. I have a convention coming up again in a month or so, so I have a few things planned. I might also continue my sign making. So there's a lot of cool stuff there that's going on. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing again for all of the new cool videos coming. Give this a like, comment down below, share it with a friend. All of those things really, really help out a new and emerging channel like this one. I mean, as you can tell, this is the second video on this channel. I'm really, really new and I, I need the support to continue doing this. Well, I don't, I'm gonna do it anyways, but it would be fun to have you stick around. Enough rambling, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.